Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a fall eye look, or just like a autumn eye look, because you can tell by my... <laughs> Sorry, my roommate just fell. You can tell by my cat ears, they're Halloween-y. My roommate got these for me for hitting a thousand views on our blindfolded makeup challenge. So, um, I just want to thank you all for getting it to that many views. Oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> Anyway, um, today we're going to do a fall look. I'm not really sure exactly uh, what we're going to end up with, but we are going to have some fun. Okay, okay, great. Well, um, let uh, before we get started, actually, let's subscribe down below because it's free. And who doesn't like something that's free? Free. It's free. It's free. Anyway, um, so hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos, and um, let's get this started. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the eye look and um, let you know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> you are very close! Here we are, up close and personal. It's aggressive, but we're here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go into, I decided, we're going to go into the um, Morphe 350M palette. And apparently I can't open it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe fluffy, um, really good for creases. We're going to go in with a transition color. Again, Morphe does not name their shadows when they're in palettes like this. So we're gonna go in with this top shade up here. It's a really light cream shade and we're just gonna cover the lid all the way up to the brow bone. That brow bone girl is so attractive. That's why all the guys want your brow bones. They want them. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so sorry. Okay, once that's done, we're then going to go into this brown cake right here. And we're going to dust off the excess, and then we're just going to put this in the crease for a transition shade. And we're just going to really blend. So you want to make sure you're not holding it with like a really heavy hand. Um, you want to go in with a light touch and really just do small, small circles in the crease. This will get you that blended, blended look that you want. And actually, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back and I will finish this look in five seconds. Two hours later. I am back. As you can see, I got some tape on my face because I forgot. So we're going to go back in to the, oh, wrong way, this way, right here, this shape. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye because we have not done that eye yet. And we're just going to do the same thing. Go in with a light hand. I like to bring it down a little bit into the bridge of my nose, like right on the side of my nose to really create some depth. I'm going to do that on this side. So right now it should look like that. The next shade we're going to go into is this orangey shade right here. It has a little bit of a dent in it because Aubrey's pig tried to eat it. And we're going to put that in the crease using the same brush. And the same thing on the other eye. But it should look something like this. Um, you just want it to be even on both sides. And we're going to go into this darker orange color right here. Just get a little bit on the same brush. And we're just going to focus this on the outside of the crease. And you want to drag it. I mean, if you're using tape or if you're just really good at, you know, making your eye makeup look bomb then you don't need this, but I do, and I'm just being honest with you guys, I'm not gonna, like, front and, <laughs> front. 2001, they watch our freaking word back lids. Anyway, I'm not gonna tell you guys that I'm really good at something when I'm just, I'm just not there yet, you know? 
So you just wanna take that darker shade and really focus it out near the edge of your crease. And if you want, you can even bring it down a little bit into the V. Just gonna get a little bit more. And focus it there. Do any of you have like that eyeshadow face when you're like, <gasps> let's look in the mirror like this and like, no. I do that all the time. Like, like people have their mascara face, I have an eyeshadow face. Anyway, so we can make this an easy tutorial and really just focus on making this an easy affordable because Morphe is really affordable um so we're gonna go into this dark brown color on the end right here um, it's a great shade to deepen up your crease and so I'm just gonna focus that right in the crease and I'm using a smaller blending brush so this is a fluffy brush but it's more pointed and so it's really good for getting into the crease and it's really good to just focus a certain color somewhere. So that's why I'm using it. And then I'm gonna bring it down, like keep going into the crease and bring it down to the front of the eye, into the, not into the inner corner, but like right there. Right, right there. Anyway, so I'm just gonna keep deepening this up a little bit. Great, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other, and I'm actually gonna just speed this up so it's not a super long tutorial. So it should look something like this when you get done. Uh, then we're gonna go into another Morphe palette, which is like the sister palette to the one we were just using. Um, it's the 35 OS palette, and it's just the shimmer version of all those mattes. So it's really nice, um, we're gonna take Gosh, we are gonna take this dark orange right here on the end. It's so beautiful. We're gonna do a halo eye today, which is super exciting because I, oh, oh gosh. You just, Morphe is super pigmented and super affordable. So you gotta be careful when you're picking up the product. And today I'm not doing foundation first because if there is fallout with these shimmers I don't want to have to like redo my entire makeup so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that dark shimmer color here and right out here leaving the middle completely open and what I like oh gosh not get it on your nose what I like to do is I like to connect them up here in the crease but still leave that middle part open and this may look like a really dark eye look right now, but once we halo it, it will not. So just bear with me. So once you've got it like exactly how you want it to look, this is about where I want it, you know, you just have them kind of even on each side. You're gonna go in with a lighter shade and this is how you halo an eye. So we're gonna go in with this champagne color right here, this one that I'm touching. And we're gonna take, I'm actually. I'm not trying to flick you off. Don't touch me. Anyway, we're gonna take this champagne color. We're just gonna press it in the middle of the eye, right where you left that open space. So we're just gonna take some and press. I love putting on shadows with my finger because there's so much, it seems like there's so much more pigmented when you put them on with your finger, it's more pressed. You know what I mean. So we're gonna do that on that eye and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm really not meaning to flick you guys off, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's the wrong finger choice. So it may look a little crazy right now, we're gonna take a blush and blend it, a <laughs> blend it a little bit. I wish I could like use words correctly. So we're gonna take that same flathead brush and we're just gonna pull the darker colors a little bit into that. So it should look something like this, if you can see. Looks a little crazy right now without the eyeliner and without mascara, but it's translating a lot orangier on 
the camera than it actually is. Um, so let's darken it up a little bit so you guys don't think I'm crazy. You're like, bro, what are you trying to look like a pumpkin? So we're just gonna go in with another fluffy brush. We're gonna grab that dark brown color we were using for the crease before. This is just a larger fluffy brush and I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit and take it a little bit above the brow bone. I'm really not taking a lot at all. I'm just like taking the smallest amount ever. Okay. Still translating a little orange, but that's okay. Anyway, we're gonna go into hours later. I have returned. Okay. We're gonna go in with this Kat Von D eyeliner and trooper and then we're just going to do a little bit of a winged look. We're not gonna start out. And don't, like I'm pulling my eye. I know that's not good. Try not to do that if you can. I'm not very, I'm not the best at liquid eyeliner yet. So just Try your best not to pull on your eye. Oh, that was not good. Why did I do it? Okay, should look something like that. Looks great. And like, oh gosh, Liz, what are you doing with your eye? So, this, this is going to anyway, then we're going to go ahead and go into my, I just had it, we're going to do eyebrows, and we're going to use an e.l.f. pot, looks like this, and it is in shade mega brown. This is honestly a little ashy for my eyebrows. A minute we're gonna take off the tape and we're going to do uh, some under eye. Oh my lord. What did I do? Need to make this one thicker because this one is so much bigger. It's crazy. Do you see this one? This one. It's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts, I tell you. Okay, great. We're gonna do a little eyebrow highlight, a little inner corner highlight. We're gonna use the Morphe palette again. If I can put it open, there we go. And we're gonna take this really small brush right here. It's just a Morphe pointed brush. And we're gonna take the lightest color right here. We're gonna put that in the inner corners to brighten up the eye a little. And then we're gonna put it up in the eyebrow bow. Trying to do this like looking at you guys, but I can't without the mirror. Sure. And then a little bit up here. There we go. All right. We're gonna remove the tape now. <sighs> How painful. And then we're gonna do under eyes. So bear with me. Ow! <laughs> do you like pain? Are you allowed people that are in pain? Call 1 800 Chester Beauty. Ow! Because <laughs> that's what happens here. <laughs> anyway, but that looks so good. I can't even handle it. I won't, I don't think I'll ever give up using tape unless I find just like a better alternative or I get really, really, really good. Because look how crisp that line is. I can't even handle it. I don't have to clean up anything. So then we're gonna go back into the matte palette and we're going to take this smudging brush drop tail and we're going to go into, we're gonna do this color right here, this like auburn color. 
I'm gonna get some on a brush and we're gonna focus this really close to the flash line. Sometimes it's hard for me to wear oranges because, shocker, my hair is red orange. And people are like, why? Can't, can't let colors decide what you wear. You know what I mean? Great. So we're gonna go into that darker brown color we were using earlier. And we're gonna focus that at the edge right here. Same brush. Great. And then we're gonna use that smaller brush we use all the dark browns on and we're gonna smudge out the lower lash lines so those lines aren't so harsh. Obviously do it on both eyes. It looks great. It looks good. Okay, great guys. So I'm gonna put on some mascara. <clears throat> Let me curl my lashes real quick. Goodness, I brought my mirror today because, or I have it out here. Cause who, I think one of my videos I tried to curl my lashes like without my mirror and it was freaking painful. You know what? Leave me in the comments below. Who still curls their eyelashes? Because I feel like I'm the only person that I know that like really curls them still with an eyelash curler and everything. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and use, I like to mix up mascaras. So we're going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes first and really just coat the lashes. And I like, I love eyelash primers, but my eyes are so sensitive that <clears throat> the only one I've found that doesn't hurt my eyes is a Smashbox one. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. And um, so I've, this sounds so weird, but I've been using this kind of as an eyelash primer to separate my lashes. And then I put on another mascara over this and then it doesn't, nothing gets on my, why can't I talk? Nothing gets on my eyelids, which is really great. Then we're gonna go into my perversion. <laughs> Sounds so weird when you don't preface it. It's a mascara. Actually, we're gonna use the Maloney one really quick. It's just their lash trifecta lengthens, curls, and separates. We're just gonna go over what we just did. See, I feel like I don't really have a mascara face. I have an eyeshadow face. I don't know why. Should I have a mascara face instead? I don't know if you can change. I guess I kinda do. Great. Well, there it is. Now I'm gonna Put a little bit on the lower lashes. Actually, you know what? Honestly, I should have waited. Should have waited to do my lower lashes to I put on the foundation. It's okay, guys. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish this out, finish out my face, and then I'm gonna come back, put some mascara on, and on the lower lashes, and then set my face, and you can see what this looks like. And um, I will be right back. Two thousand years later. And we're back. I finished my face. I love it. It looks so freaking good. And so we're just gonna um, finish up with some low work eyelash mascara. No, Don't you hate that when you're doing perfect? And then my phone is ringing. Old oh, place. And then. You just mess up, it really, really gets my goat. It's my goat. Oh no. Oh no! It's stuck! Okay. Oh yes. This looks delicious. I don't know who was calling me. Oh, <laughs> uh, some 800 number. Trying to give me insurance. I don't want any. I don't want any. <laughs> Whatever. Looks great. Cover it. 
And then I'm gonna pop some. <coughs> I got super inspired today when I was watching Tati's uh, makeup review of the new Natasha Denona palette. She put teal in her waterline, and I know. Ugh, Aubrey, should I put teal in my waterline? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I forgot I had that. I'm rolled it on. It's like kind of teal. It's liquid. We're about to find out what I'm Couldn't tell you if it's safe to put in your waterline or not, but it looks so good right there. You see that? Because let me do it for you. I'll tell you if it, like, my eye turns bright red. Sorry, my dog is barking. We live, like, really close to a high school. And, oh gosh, no. We live really close to a high school, and when they get out of school, he doesn't like it because they're really loud and uh, he barks at everything anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Ow. <laughs> it's like getting him an eyeball. It's a terrible decision. I don't know why I did that. I blame Aubrey. Thank you. It's definitely in my eyeballs, but I'm going to do it this way. It looks really pretty though. So, I'll, I'll let her leave. Anyway, all right guys, let's set our face real quick and then we'll be donezo. We're gonna use the Urban Decay all, <laughs> what? Urban Decay All Nighter. Mm. Heavenly. It doesn't leave freaking white dots on your face. Like Too Faced, the new peach one does. Don't buy it. And I, it's not just me, literally, I was talking to my makeup artist friend last night, Taylor, and she said the exact same thing. No joke. She was like, yeah, did you notice it left, like, where did I get that blue on me? You guys know? That's right here. She's like, yeah, did you notice it left white dots all over your face? And I said, yes. It's exactly why I returned it. Oh, let's add some lips real quick. Before you leave. Before I leave you. <laughs> Which one did we use last time? Craze or did Dylan use this one? Ooh. I know this isn't fall, but I want to use it. Oh gosh, it's in my eye. It's happening, it's happening. We're just going to use that berry one that Dylan used in the video last time, right, Betty? It's so funny. Everyone's been saying how good Dylan did <laughs> to my makeup. They were like, um, why is he so good at that? I was like, holy, he's good at everything. I was not surprised when he did like a semi good job. All right, guys, we are almost done because I gotta fix that now. Okay, better. So this is the look. I hope you liked it, because I did. I enjoy this look very much. Ooh, girl. Anyway, sorry if that was loud. Sorry, headphone users. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching once again. I am so excited that you're supporting me. So excited to be doing this because I really do love makeup. Um, this is just, you know, part-time right now because I have a full-time job, but I would love to make this my full-time job because it is what I love to do, and I love to share makeup with you guys. So if you could just subscribe to this video, like it, leave a comment if you want, let me know what you want me to try, um, and then I'll be doing it all the time. It'll be great. And I'll wear more ears. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. I mean, to, to a degree. Let's calm down. Anyway, it was good to see you guys today. I love you all so much, and I'm so glad you came back. If you are new, this is Chester Beauty. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, and I try to post videos every week, or more than once a week. So um, just stay tuned, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thanks, guys, so much. Love you.